day that the Lord has made. We shall rejoice and be glad in it. Hallelujah, hallelujah. To God be the glory for all the good things he's done in our lives. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Love you. I don't know. I, I saw the, uh, the news the other day where this lady was a. Uh, 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 she did the uh, sampling. Uh, she worked in the lab, the crime lab. Uh -huh. and, and and she tampered. She put cocaine in 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 people's blood samples. And oh, and they wow. said, they said they had this lady. Uh, it was like either forty thousand tampering of evidence that this lady has done. And they, and they said it, that based on the, the, the trial, they, she pled it. She didn't, it was not a trial. She pled guilty because she was caught. She was putting, yeah. she was putting cocaine. I mean, they even showed it <laughs> with a look, uh, I guess a uh, bowl or whatever you have. And yeah. all you do is take it a little bit and just, just put it in the sample. That's a lot in the sample. You know that little little speck, and and uh, it was they were saying so many lives have been impacted. That's just wicked, evil. Oh, that's so evil, brother. Yeah, you, I, I can't imagine someone who would do that to someone they do not know. Do not know. On per for the purpose of what? And you saw so there's it. no there's nothing good about that. Nothing. What was the payoff for it? Right. What was the payoff for that? What 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 pleasure was she getting from doing such a thing? You know, I wish it's what what it is it's it's it's, it's 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 that's right there with abomination to me. It is that's that's a big one though, brother. I mean the, the look at like I said, the lives that were lost. The lives people been put, put in jail. Yeah, yeah. the uh, years taken away from people's lives mm, mm. because of one wicked act. Yeah, yeah. And this uh, can be many wicked acts, tell you the truth. But yeah, that's 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 heavy right there. That is it. And then, and then what I wish I did let her speak. She said guilty, right? What like I like the the answer to the question? Why did you do it? Did somebody tell you to do it? You know, were you it's, taking? It's, it's gonna be this. Thank God that she she got caught and she's no longer in that position. Yes, sir. You know, and she's she's going to be if she's not already right where she was putting up. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Well, you know, they also you seen evidence where cops were playing evidence too. You know. Oh yeah. Uh, and it just throws everything off. I mean, even. You know, that, I guess I even go back to even that trial in OJ, that, that guy if he had just not tampered with the evidence, we might have we might have got a different conviction. But time you tamper with it, guess what? It throws everything off now. Yeah. It, 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 everything now is questioned because of a lie. And that's why God is saying is uh I hate false witnesses. Because the fact that oh they you know witnesses speak its lies because it tears up and destroys it's it's no different from killing when you destroy somebody's life. I, I wonder how many of those people now that if they you know it was, it was a lot of African Americans that they show pictures have been convicted and now these people probably could be set free, but they probably get do survive in prison. They may be on other charges, right? And, and I don't know if they'll let them go because they may have other charges. Some of them just to survive. You know, if if they would have to let those every last one of those people off, off hmm. because of false evidence and tampering by people of the state. Hmm. So they, they, that's no different than a lawyer that is caught uh, uh, doing things that are wrong than everybody that that lawyer was dealing with should be, you know, set free. Yeah. Same thing with a judge. If a judge is found unjust, yeah. everyone that he judged 
should be set free. There, there's no no justification for anything, whether a person was, you know, murdered or not. If you're looking for justice, if you're if you're justice, yes, if justice is unjust, Woo! you know, then then what are they saying? Right. And then no we can I don't even want to get into our government. Yeah. You know. <laughs> and, and, and I think that's the point of telling people we don't want that's what causes us to taint our institutions, you know, from the justice system to the political system. If you know just speak the issues and not the lies. But people get caught up in the lies, and we gotta watch out for that. And God is saying that. He don't like that. I mean, my sister loves love to say, God don't like ugliness. You see, speaking lies, a false witness speaking lies is one of them, you know? Uh, and, it, and it causes and affect other people's lives. Even even the, the staying in Virginia, you know, the guy wrote on that, that, that education thing, on something that is not even a policy within the state. Yeah. But he got caught up in it because they, we, they weren't prepared to address it. The prepare is like my friend goes along what you and I were talking about earlier is don't don't teach don't teach the don't try to hold people accountable for the past. You know, don't don't do that. Be truthful in history, but just make sure you you skew it from a factual point, not not an emotional point. Just uh -huh. uh, just speak truth, right? Don't speak uh, how it impact. Just be careful how you do it. I guess that's the whole point. And, and that's why we got to watch out for it. So speaking lies is one thing God hates. And then the last one, he says, he that soars discord among the brethren. That, you know, most organizations, that is the biggest challenge you have in the job, you know, in your workforce. I think you probably yeah. have, when people so discord, you, 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 and and I, I I was trying to say I was trying to learn. I had an email. Uh, I had it several years ago when I had a young lady that two young ladies that really so was successful and so in discord. And the other the other day I had an email Friday where the person was saying something about transparency uh, or, or you know lack of transparency and. And I was focusing, I was, I was thinking is, okay. And then when they said, the other person was overwhelmed with the, with the taskings. And what I was doing was that I was actually trying to divide the task within my organization. And I was putting it in writing. So I'm actually saying, Brother Asa, these are your tasks that you have. I Meaning these are the side yeah. areas that you have. It's not so yeah. much saying that you can handle all these. It's just saying is that, I'm taking it off of me and I'm gonna give you, I'm gonna delegate this to you to help me support this organization. And I said I was going to go over that next week, but I just wanted to make sure everybody understand the assignments that they have. Mm -hmm. So uh, one of the things I'm gonna do is have those you will have, just like the Zoom thing, they got teams, Microsoft team. I, you may have seen that. Microsoft team, where's video? Mm -hmm. Same as Zoom. And and I had the biggest problem I've been having is, you know, not having a, a with this teleworking. You got some people at work that day, some people not at work that day. Um, so you you know you don't you don't have where everybody's at work the same day. And then they got all kinds of errors to cover. Well I'm gonna use this uh, team and I'm gonna schedule an appointment for Monday, eight o'clock. And another reason I wanted to team is because I can do like we're doing with our briefing, right? We can, I can present information so you can see it and we can talk about it, opposed mm -hmm. to handouts, right? I don't need to print out a whole bunch of handouts or I don't have a conference room. I'm gonna just go ahead and put it so people can see. But the, the, the challenge I had in the past, and I do wanna make sure I confront it in the future is be open, keep communication open, and let people know, hey, I'm gonna be consistent in what I'm asking you to do. And I'm gonna, I hear it when you can't do it, but that's the whole purpose of it. 
to show that uh, we can all work together. We don't want to have people undermining one another. Let's just, let's, let's know what the mission is, know what the vision of the mission is, and then let's say how we can accomplish that mission together. You know? Uh, but it's tactical. It's hard. It's like trying to tell people how to fix a generator. They don't know how to fix a generator. Uh, and that's what we do in AFMC, right? That's what you part of was the, mm -hmm. the sustaining of things. Well, I got operators and I'm a I'm an Intel guy myself. We don't we don't we don't we use the equipment. We don't we don't fix it. We don't we don't we don't know what's behind we don't know the back end of stuff. Mm -hmm. you no, know, and, and, and now we've been called to understand the back end of, of things, how they work. And it's it's challenging. And and I, I can see the fear, I can see the I, I want to make sure I tell the people I wreck I understand. I really do. I want you to understand. And I'm not gonna hold you accountable for not understanding. I'm just asking you just do the best you can to under to work with the people that's doing it. Make sure they know. Yeah. Huh? Well, the thing is, now we're talking about a paradigm shift <laughs> because now that they have to shift from something known to an unknown yeah there's always always resistance it is and to a means, paradigm shift mainly because it brings everyone back to zero mm. that what that girl said so too. now so now what you had you no longer have because now you're 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 brought back to zero along with everybody else yeah you, <laughs> and you don't feel comfortable you don't want to yeah yeah yeah. Yeah. So, you know, there, 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 there's going to be resistance just because. Deep. Uh, so, I, I want to yeah. talk about that. Matter of fact, let me let me stop. I'm gonna stop something real quick, and I'm gonna bring it back. You know, I was it. We had. I'm gonna so, go ahead. But did you see my my uh, chat? No, I didn't. I see a my woman. Message. I didn't open it up though. Let me yeah. let me stop this for a second. And then I'm gonna come back on, cause I, I want to bring. I think that's what I'm thinking. I want to bring up is that's what happens when people come into the gospel. They they don't. They're starting from ground zero. See, yeah. they don't figure out life. And now you're trying to tell me to renew my mind. Hold one on that. That that's that's uh. <laughs> where does this thing say stop line? Where? <laughs> I guess I gotta stop this first. One second. Did I stop it? I guess I have. All right, I'm gonna bring it back up. Yeah, man, that, think about it. Isn't that what causes the uh, the the discord sometimes with people? Is the fact is that you know you 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 asking me to change my way of of how I figure life out. I mean, especially when we're talking about. Uh, Oh, those people coming in, uh, we just started all over again. We're just talking about Proverbs 6, 16 to 19, and we, we stopped at verse 19. And I'm talking about he that sowed discord among the brethren. And the fact is that we were talking about a paradigm shift for people in the workforce sometimes when they became expert in one thing and all of a sudden they're asked to do something different. It, it, it can cause discord. It can cause, it, cause, it can definitely cause discomfort. Because a person is saying, "Look, I've been in the military. You, you guys are hold that. You know, I've been in there. And I've been a, a, a master, or I've been a, a tech, and 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 I've been in for fifteen or twenty years. And you know, I I thought I had this thing figured out. You know, that's why I'm called a tech. That's why I'm called a master, right? Because I have mastered. Is that you think? I don't know that maybe that's why they call the word master, call you master sergeant. But it's it's kind of like I." I, I'm at a level of professionalism that, that that I know my skills. And then all of a sudden now you have put me in a new a new frame of reference. Well, not, not even a reference. You put me in this a new frame of thought, a new frame of operating. And I now I can't show how good I am. Because all I keep in mind is every time I go somewhere in a meeting, I recognize how far I'm off, how bad I am. You know what I mean? Uh, one guy even said, he's he, he been doing ops, operations for mm -hmm. 
28 years. He, he's uh, he's a tech now. He just made tech, tell you too. And he said, uh, all my life has been operation guy. I even never even had a desk, you know, administrative desk and a computer. Yeah. I, I never even had that. I never had some somebody somebody put my name on the, on the, on, your, on the cubicle. I never had a I never had a cubicle. Everything I was doing is I've been on the ops floor, you know. Uh, and I guess maybe when you had the, the maintenance shop, that could have been. Uh, did you have a desk? You may have a desk. Well, you had a desk after. Well, not until not until uh, later. Later. You know, my career when you when you you're doing the maintenance, you're doing the maintenance. You're not you're not sitting at a desk. I mean, and if you are sitting at a desk, it's a community desk to actually document what you maintain, yeah. what you maintain. Right. You know, so there was no specific desk except for those who were in leadership position. Now, once I got in the leadership position, uh -huh. then there was a desk, and, right. you know, and there was an office. <laughs> you know, and, and there's a spectator that use that office, right? Yeah. And so, you know, the 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 difference was I became uh, proficient at what I was doing when I was maintaining. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. And then I mastered that. It became master over others. Mm -hmm. You know, I became to the point to where I can cha train others. Yes, sir. And then I became to the point where I was training others that were training others. And then I'm managing everybody. Yes, sir. And so, you know, you just evolve. And so uh, you don't get to do the things that you started off doing once you get behind that desk. Uh -huh. You know, uh -huh. you don't get to go out and do maintenance, even though you love to do maintenance. Yes, you sir. know, I like uh, fixing things. And, uh, you know, uh, a jet is broke down and then I go fix it and I can watch it flying in the air again. Yes, you sir. know, I, I did. I accomplished. I helped that thing get into the air. Right. You know that there was a, 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 a feeling of pride uh, in in the work that I've done, uh -huh. and now you know I don't get to do that. You know I got to train other people to do it, and I don't get to do it as much, or or I don't get to do it at all. Now I'm just paperwork. Yeah, yes, yes, <laughs> you know I'm just I'm just uh, managing people. Uh huh. And, uh, and you know how it is when you dealing with folks. Yes, sir. You're dealing with personalities, you know, personal issues, uh, uh, progression issues. Yeah, and you and uh, the competitive. And it's just the whole, the whole nine, and so uh, big difference. A big difference. You know, resistance to change at first because you're you're starting all over. This is a whole nother uh -huh. skill set that you need to master. Right. And then you just okay. move on. And and, it's, and you have a tendency to draw the people in with your displeasure, if, yeah. if you know you got other people fitting. It. What do you think, man? Yeah, this is all this sucks, <laughs> right? And, and I, yeah. what I reason I'm saying that because I think about is isn't that the same thing when people come into the gospel of Jesus yeah. Christ? It's, it's exactly the it's same. The same. So you 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 come in, and the big thing is you come come in to be a technician yeah you know what i'm saying you come in to go out oh lord do the work of the ministry but you're not being trained by those who are the trainers mm. so then your ability to be effective in doing what you're here to do mm. is limited to what you can learn on your own yeah. And so then you begin to lie on self when self is never yeah. the priority. Yeah. And think so about it. So then, you know, you you you, you always uh, have to rely on those who are above to help you get to move up. Right. And, to, you know, to help you understand, to give you uh, a pattern to follow even if you alter it for yourself so that you can ad adapt to it based on your being. Deep. But you still need some kind of structure to follow yes. to, to get you to where you need to be in this. And the issue is 
the urgency and priority of renewing the mind is so far from being taught to those who are entering into this, this body. Yes, yes. And that is where it should always start. You know, we go, you know, all you got to do is say this prayer and repeat this after me, you know, you accept Jesus Christ, your Lord and Savior, and believe in your heart, and, you know, and then you're saved, and then that's it. Now you got to come and, and hear these messages and be a part of this ministry. No, you need to start renewing your mind yes. so that you can get past all those things that you have become accustomed with so that mm. you can get out of habit, mm -hmm. yeah. you know, physical habit and get into spiritual habit. And it's the only way you're going to get into that. Yeah. So, yeah. Uh, 